In this SketchUp tutorial, I want to go over how you might make a, a curved piece of furniture, something that has that kind of look to it. Uh, in the last one, I went through making a dining set, so it's something that's very rectilinear. In SketchUp, it's fairly tricky to make things that are curved unless you get some sort of plug-in. Um, so I just want to talk about how you would think about uh, going about something like that. So here's sort of a, a goofy looking chair, but this will this will get the point across. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is come off to the side again. Okay, and um, what I'm going to do is create, you know, just a basic rectangle. So I might do something that's three feet by three feet. And we'll use our push-pull, the shortcut is P, and come up you know, maybe something like eight inches, or so making something sort of thick. Um, this will just be something simple, but you'll get to see the technique. Um, once we have that created, we could use our uh, rectangle again and go in this corner, and we'll make one that's three feet by perhaps um, eight inches again, just to keep things consistent. And we'll do the push pull, and we'll come up uh, maybe 28 inches this time. Um, in this case, I didn't worry about whether or not that cushion was separate there, um, just because I thought, oh, I might put some arms on the side. Um, but remember, if you had wanted that division line there, you just hit the control key. Okay, so here I have the basic, um, you know, thick shape of the chair. It's still on the ground, um, but we can we can move that up, of course. Uh, for example, if I wanted this to be kind of a low chair, but um, you know, still a bit on the ground. I could move this up, you know, um, you know, eight inches, ten inches, something like that. So we'll see how this ends up. So for now, that's looking pretty good. Okay, and um, right away, if I thought I wanted to start curving things, you know, how would I go about doing that? Um, if I come in, I might want to use the tape measure tool to measure things off a little bit. So, for example, you can see over here we have some rounding on the cushions in the back. So what we do is take the tape measure and bring it in from the edges. So if I just wanted to round this a little, I might come in one inch from the sides, one down from the top, something like that, to give me some little guides. Then what I'm going to do is grab the arc tool, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to do the two end points. Remember the little icon on the cursor shows you what point you should be selecting. And if you pull this out, it'll turn magenta when you're at the tangent point. So then I can click and I'll just do the same thing back here. So right now I have just two arcs. Now if I use the push pull tool, if I click on that little dog-eared part and push back, do you see how it's cutting away? I mean, I of course could bring it out and do something like that. But if I push this, that face will actually cut away. And then when I click at the end, I have a rounded end. Okay, so I'll do that again over here. Oops. So we've rounded, you know, the corners up at the top. We could do something like that on the front as well. Uh, so I'll grab my guides again, but this time maybe I'll do it a little more extreme. I'll do perhaps two inches. And I'll use that arc again. I'll do it at both corners. And push-pull that little dog-eared part to get rid of that excess. Now, if I wanted to actually curve this space, I could use that arc to create a curve instead of cutting away with it. I'll grab my tape measure, and maybe I will come up um, three and out three. Use my arc corner to corner, and I'll come in this way. So you see that it actually created that shape again, but now when I use the push-pull, and I'll go back three feet, I've actually created a curve in the chair there. So there's a lot of different ways that you could, oh, I got a little zoomed in there, oh boy, that you could use uh, 
these tools to, to work to your advantage. I'm just going to grab my eraser, get rid of some of these guides. There we go. So if you wanted to put uh, you know, an arm across the side or something like that, I would recommend that you probably do it unattached and then move it over just to make it a little bit easier. So I will do um, a rectangle that's, let's see, I could make it you know, just the same length or shorter. I might do, um, maybe I'll do 30 inches by eight, something like that, and a push pull up, uh, maybe I'll do 18, okay, and then I could do the same things here. I could use my tape measure tool to start curving it off, so maybe I'll do eight and eight for an arc up at the top. And I'll push that through. Okay, maybe I'll curve this top corner a little. Looks a little bit sharp for something that's upholstered. It's a little bit better. And then let's see, maybe I could actually let, um, you know, these elements become the, the leg of the chair, for example. So I could perhaps let that actually be flat. Okay, I will erase, E for erase, get rid of these guides, and I'll move this over to get it lined up initially. Okay, so I'm going to select, triple select the arm. And before I move it over, I think I'll actually right click and make it a group. It'll be easier to deal with. Okay, then I will do a move and I'll line that corner up with the corner of the chair. So that looks pretty good. Um, on the other chair, I put some legs underneath. That would be a way to go if you can kind of see back here. Otherwise, I could just move this down. Do a move and say I want that to move down. Uh, maybe six inches or something and start working with it that way you know and that looks pretty good okay so I could now maybe swing around and I will do a move but this time I'll hit control and I'll do a copy to bring one straight across and I'll do three feet eight inches because our chair is 36 or three feet and then our arms are eight, so we need to have both of those measurements. So you can take a look at that. It's looking pretty good. If we wanted to make the chair taller, you could simply come in and use your push-pull and make each of these longer. I could say, well, I'd like that to be six inches longer and as well over here. If I had made those component pieces, those would have adjusted at the same time. But you get the idea. So that's how you can use arcs and the push-pull to add curves to furniture so you can get something that's you know, starting to look a little bit smoother.